Well, let's take you live now to uh, back to the announcement uh, venue with SABC International News Editor Sophie McQuena. Uh, certainly the CEO of the Nelson Mandela Foundation keeping everyone uh, on a razor's edge, on a knife's ed uh, edge, uh, Sophie, uh, ahead of this announcement. You are live now. Well, thank you so much, uh, Iman. As I pointed out earlier on, the announcement uh, was made a few minutes ago. The Prime Minister of Barbados is going to deliver the Nelson Mandela annual lecture. The focus will be on issues that are related to climate change and food security. A good speaker indeed, as uh, Sherwin has pointed out. But with me here, I have the foundation CEO, Ndadesi Lohadang, to speak to us. Ndadesi Lohadang, what a speaker. I think the choice was inspired. Um, and uh, at the time that the board made the call to say she must speak, the flood in KZN hadn't happened. And little did we know that actually we'll be directly affected by something that is so big. And I think if we are to do anything as South Africans is to say that uh, here's a speaker that uh, we told when she received the notice, uh, the request from us, she has been re rejecting all kinds of requests coming to her office. And she said, this one I'm doing immediately. And I think it says something about us as a country. And we must continue to build a country that cares about the poor the vulnerable and the environment so that the environment can look after us. That's why for Mandela Day, we'll be planting, planting a million trees around the country for the next year. We're saying to you as the view of the SABC, join us in this movement because it's only through your efforts that we can build a country that Madiba dreamt of. 20 years on, when we started, I remember when I was still a political reporter, when the lecture started, and here we are, 20 years on. You know, one of the uh, proudest moments for the foundation is how we do sustainable projects. Um, it's not once-off. I mean, you were there when uh, 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 President Clinton gave the first one, Archbishop Tutu, President uh, Mbeki, and they kept on just coming, uh, Kofi Annan. And, and I think if we are to, do, to learn anything out of this, on the 20th anniversary, we must ask ourselves, what are we doing to help build a country that cares about the vulnerable? that can uplift, that the lecture doesn't just do something that's out there and wishy-washy. Remember when we brought um, uh, Thomas Piketty? Yes. yes. And uh, with Thomas Piketty, you'd remember that what we then did, we introduced uh, a working with early childhood development yes. centers. Yes. And I think the lecture is doing that kind of work. It plants seeds, mm -hmm. we do the work. And uh, for someone who's sitting at Addis Ababa, or Nairobi, or Dar es Salaam, when is the lecture at some point in time going to be delivered outside South Africa? I was hoping you were not going to ask me that question because now it means I have to go back to the board and say, oh, Sophia has put us on the spot. Uh, we have to do something about it. Just to say that um, we have now uh, been spreading it around uh, the country. It's going to KZN for the first time. And we are happy that the government of Kozul Natal has embraced the, 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 the call. And the Premier is here to even stamp it to say, I am part of this movement. And I think next thing is for us to take it to the continent. And we, we are hoping to do so soon. I hope I'll see that day. Yeah. I have uh, the, pri the Premier of uh, KZN, Babsi Kunjan. Sipilile Ninjan Sofi. We are Ganjan Kwazul. We are trying, we are pulling things together. Uh, yes, we've been battered by floods, but we are not broken. We are going to rebuild Kwazulu Natal. The lecture is coming to KZN. And what is your message to the citizens of KwaZulu Natal, but also South Africa? You know, the focus will be on climate change. And you have experienced those floods. And I think in KZN, those who are affected are looking up to you to say, what is it that you are going to do to them? But with this lecture, what are you saying to them? The life of former President Mandela opened the eyes of the people and the eyes of the world on what was facing us, the apartheid. And this lecture for us, it's opening us on the challenges of the time, including 
this issue of climate change and that we need to change and not think, take things that uh, things are still as they were before. The life is changing. Uh, the whole issue of dealing with climate change is important for the current generation. It cannot be postponed. And that's why as the province we have said, let us partner with Mandela Foundation to host this lecture. Thank you so much, Premier. All the best. That was KZN Premier Sihle Zigalala talking about the province and the challenges they had to deal with during those floods. And now the Nelson Mandela lecture going to KwaZulu-Natal 20 years on. And I think, uh, as the CEO has pointed out, at some point in time, I think uh, one country on the continent must be able to say we are going to have a Nelson Mandela lecture on the continent in this country. Thank you so much, Iman. And I think uh, you coming from KZN, you are a happy person today. Well, it's certainly, um, you know, a beautiful convergence, uh, even though it's in the context of tragedy. Uh, a prime minister who's vociferous and strong on climate change issues going to the site of tragedy uh, that in part has been attributed to the ravages of climate change. Sophie, thank you very much for that. That was our international news editor, Sophie Mokwena, sharing with us um, the developments there uh, after the announcement from the Nelson Mandela Foundation of this year's Nelson Mandela Lecture. Um, guest who's coming all the way from Barbados. That's the Barbadian Prime Minister.